want to get the, the meeting called to order at 604? Seconded. Diane said she joined. She was just going to be a little late. She's stuck in traffic. Good, good, good. There cool. he is. So Steve, I'm in yeah, favor. <laughs> All right. So cool. I'll say Jim and then uh, Steve second in. Boys. Sorry about that. Cool. All right. So um, I'll just kind of start working through, yeah. kind of go over the, our current programs and kind of uh, everything that's coming up. Um, biggest thing right now, guys, is, is pickleball. Still going really well. Uh, we've had 30-plus people every time. Um, getting really good feedback on it. It's uh, it's been good. Um, I talked the first night we had it. I I talked to a couple people about doing a tournament, and there's a lot of excitement about that. So I'm working on putting some stuff together to 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 do a pickleball tournament. Probably not till like May, um, April, May. Uh, we'll see. But that's that's I think that's going to be in the works. I think that's going to be popular regardless of when we do it. I don't know if there's a a timing thing like basketball, but um, with the amount, I mean, we've got over hundred people registered for the program. So kind of the way it's been is there's about 20 people, 15, 20 people that are there every time. And then there's, you know, a handful of 10, 15 people that are there sometimes and that, that, that kind of filter in and out. So, so it's a pretty good mix, a lot of different skill levels. Um, then, and they're having more and more fun. You know, a lot of the, probably half the people when we started were brand new and they're all getting better and volleys are that last and longer and everything. So. That's so it's awesome. been a good experience. It's been a good experience. We're really blessed to have the gym, the size we do that we're able to fit three courts in there. Cause, cause they keep, they stay, they, they, those three courts keep going all night. So, um, so that's been good. Uh, basketball. We're also doing the adult basketball on Wednesday nights. Uh, that's, that's had a really good turnout. Um, there were times last year that, that we barely had enough to, to make the three on three game, but we've had, you know, anywhere from 15 to over 20 people every week. Um, last week there were over 20, so they actually had to switch complete teams in and out um, for every game. So, so that's going well. But both programs, I, I think a lot of the the promotions we're doing are communities outside of Hadley, and we're seeing that in the in the programs. I mean, both programs are getting people from all over coming in. So, so I think that's good for our community. A lot of people traveling Route Nine and, and you know going to our businesses yeah. and doing all those things. So, so that's been good. Um, there's a guy named Jermaine Polanco that's a, he's a, a math teacher at Smith. Um, he's been going every time and we talked, he's helping fill in the times on Wednesdays. I can't be there. So it's good to have, you know, and, and we have a lot of the same guys that have been in that program for a long time right there. So, so that's now, did you cancel there. it last night? Yes. Yeah. We canceled okay. last night and I let those guys know beforehand. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. To respond, you know, but yeah. We, we got that out. And then, you know, with all the, when the schools close, we can't do it. So, <laughs> so they're going to be off a couple of weeks with the, yeah. the break, but, but they all get it. That that's part of, part of using the school. We're blessed to be able to use, the, use those facilities. Um, we got youth basketball still going. They're practicing. Their practice started this week. Um, they'll start playing that first Saturday of January. So we've got the uniforms order and, and everything set to, to get them going. I'm working on getting the um, referees scheduled and scorekeepers and all that stuff. And I'll, I'll keep you all updated as, as that progresses, but, but that's all in the process. Um, so I, and it's, it's like anything else that the, the gym is full all the time. You know, ideally every team gets to practice at five 30 to six 30, but it's just, it's just not possible, <laughs> you know, in yep. the gym and, you know, and like we talked about CYO started their program back up, but we still have like 80 kids registered in ours. So really a lot of kids. We have a lot of kids. Yeah. Wow. Um, we also still have the, the fit for the holidays challenge is still going. We've got seven people registered. They're actually have turned their stuff in. There may be more that have downloaded the sheet and everything. I, I posted something and got a response on that. Um, so we may have more people add, which it should be nice. But so we have participation in that, in that challenge. Um, we also have cheerleading still going on right now. They're practicing. Um, they practice Tuesday nights. So they go right after school. So since a lot of the kids, those younger kids, instead of having to go home and come back, they just stay after school and have a, uh, we reserved a classroom um, over at the elementary school on Tuesday. So they're, they're able to practice over there and, and get in there without, without having to stay too late. Um, like I said, they'll be, they'll be 
um, working at doing the, the youth basketball games and, and hopefully some other events. You know, they were at the, the, the tree ceremony and I think they're representing well. They're, they're there for the school and for, for Park and Rex. So I think that's good. Um, but that's kind of right now going on. <laughs> that's that's kind of what we have. So uh, you guys have anything on the on the current programs, the input or suggestion on what we got? Was was that sorry for being a tad minute late here? Um, no it's the season. Um, what were you, were you taught? I could get at the end that you were talking basketball, but did you already talk about pickleball, too? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'll just update you. It's pickleball is awesome, Diane. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, awesome. I, so I was at the mother's club banquet the other night with Kelly um, and like the craze, you know, they're all wanting pickleball. They're all trying to want to make teams to play pickleball, you know, all this um, still the request there. And I know it's tough. And especially now with basketball season upon us, they're asking for another night. You know, if we can add another night. Yeah. And I said, mm-hmm. but it's basketball, probably not, but just, I'm just relaying it to you. Right. Um, they're loving it and, you know, great, great reviews on that, you know? Awesome. Yeah. And I'd love to do another night, you know, and I think we'd fill it up. You know, I think people would come and do it because uh, like I was saying, there's, there's people from all over. I mean, there's people yeah. that drive an hour each way to come and play at our place. And that's, that's just a fact, <laughs> you know, people come up to me and talk to me and I, I overhear people's conversations. Um, yeah. We have a father and son that come, both come from out of town and meet in Hadley to play on those on those are, nights. Are, what about like a Sunday night is that also filled up with basketball no um I actually thought about doing something on a weekend I'll check mm-hmm. the interest um kind of a thought I had was since we're doing stuff over there on Saturdays we have um youth basketball a lot of those Saturdays maybe try and do something like early Saturday afternoon um that's yeah. something I think once we kind of get through the holidays right and, and get everyone scheduled a little bit I can get something out and, and see what kind of attendance and see what kind of interest we'll have in, in doing another night yeah they were all begging you know for it so, <laughs> so we've we've got a one of the things we're it. working John is actually working on Jeff Mish to see if we can get in there and have practices and say give me a key as a town not employee, but elected official, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I have told John, tell him, you know, as soon as they're done, I will go and sweep the entire gym floor, turn off the lights and lock the door and make sure that everybody's out before I go. And so they're working on it because next week or, you know, the week between Christmas and New Year's, we're not going to be able to get in there from Friday until the fall, not the following, but Mm -hmm. January 2nd or whatever it is. So that means we can't practice any of the teams in there. And that means Park and Rec can't do it either. And so we're trying to work something out because there's no way that we can go 10, 11 days without having a basketball practice in between games. Yeah. So we're trying to work it out. I don't know if it's going to work, but if we can promise, hey, listen, you know, we're going to make sure that everybody's in and out. And I said, listen, we'll tell everybody, you know, for basketball practice, go to the bathroom before you come because you're not going down the hallways. You're coming in the front door into the gym. You're playing basketball. Once you're done, you're out the door, straight out the door. Because right now I, it's amazing to me how many parents let their kids walk around the building like it's <laughs> theirs. And I go, no, 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 no. You got to come down here. You can't just walk around the building. It's closed. Just the gym is open. Oh, he just wanted to go down and see. I was like, no, I don't care what he wants to see. Like, the building's closed. Right. Oh. So, there's a lot of people that don't like to be told no. So, <laughs> um, but sometimes they have to. And, I mean, if we want to be able to use that building, that's the kind of position we need to take. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I'd, yeah, we'd be willing to make a, a schedule and have someone in charge to – to monitor those things when we had those times, but that would be, that'd be outstanding if we could get access somehow. Okay. Some of those downtime. Cause. You know, I mean, we don't need a janitor. I'll unlock and lock the door and I'll sweep the floor. You know, I'll make sure that, you know, Vinny's happy when he comes in the next day that the floor is clean. Yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, let's yeah. talk more about that. I mean, let me know what I can do on that because yeah, well, I'm, like I'm going to call Jeff. Weeks. That's tough. That's tough. I'll call him tomorrow. I'm off work. Sully's had the flu, so. Well, and our park and rec teams start playing that first weekend of January, you know, so yeah. they get a, a week and a half of practice and they have to sit out for two weeks and then get a weekend before they start going. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, so it's, it, it's not as big a deal because it is more recreational and, you know, but also, you know, <laughs> our coach yeah, it still stinks. Get those guys ready. Yeah. It still stinks. Yeah. It's, it's not ideal for sure. Um, but it is nice. We get to use those facilities. You know, it is really a plus. We get to use those. Um, you know, I mean, if we can get Miss Dowd and uh, 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 the um, the superintendent superintendent on board, then you know, I, I think it would be fine. But I don't know that they want to, you know, have just random people. But if we set right. some strict guidelines that listen, they're going to come in, they're going to play basketball, and they're leaving. You well, know. maybe Mrs. Wanted... Higgins needs to say how awesome we are. <laughs> Yeah, we'll leave it nicer than when we got there. That's for sure. That's she right. just started that job. You don't want to lie. I know. <laughs> well, Jim, if you'll email me something with kind of a, a, a format of what we'd like, just, just kind of a, something. From, so I have something from a commissioner, okay. um, then I can put something together, a letter and, and get that sent to, to Ms. Dowd and to, to, to Ann McKenzie. So get there. Okay. On Let me talk to Jeff first. Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, awesome. And see what his opinion on it is. And then if he says no, they're going to say no. Right. So there's no point in getting everything else together. If he says, yeah, yeah you know, we're going to trust you to do what's necessary. Then, you know, then we can go to them and, you know, on bended knee and ask and see what happens. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Um, Anything else on the on our current stuff? So upcoming, the big one, Lunch with Santa, is this weekend. So I'm going to be over there tomorrow. Um, I've got all our supplies and decorations. I, I got some some more activities, uh, kind of like those games we did for the Halloween event. I've got a couple kind of games. They're not. I couldn't find Christmas stuff, but I've, I did find some games that they can do in some small areas, and yeah. um, kind of those little toys like stocking stuff or type toys that we can give out for prizes. So I've got all that stuff taken care of. Um, got decorations and plates and some snacks, and everything's pretty much ready to go. Um, I did get. Uh, about two backdrops a big uh, like 10 by 10 one that's really nice that we can put behind santa and then i got another smaller one that, that we can put on the side so we have a couple of different areas for like a step and repeat um so we'll get all those up i got stands for them so it, it, it's going to be nice in there um but like i said i'll be over there tomorrow at 5 30 to, to start <coughs> that up and, and get it decorated um, so if anyone is available to help awesome um but either way i'll be over there get, getting all that stuff ready um, I've reached out to, I thought everyone <laughs> until today, there's someone I missed in the, about the volunteers, but we, uh, we do have a handful from, from key club, um, girl scouts weren't available. There, there's a bunch of people that weren't available, but also, um, there are some people that are. So ideally, um, I think with the activities we have, we probably need eight to 12 people. Um, I think right now we have, you know, six or seven that, that are, I, I think outside of this group. Um, and Diane with, with y'all, you know, that should put us right there where it's about the minimum of what we need, <laughs> but you know, I've, I've, you know, we, 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 if anyone that can be there to help, we, we appreciate the help. Um, I think I, I just, can, oh, sorry. Oh, oh go ahead. Uh, I just told Christian to re-ask his friends group. So okay, maybe cool. that'll get some more. So you said tomorrow night at five 30. Yeah. And that's, and I don't need 10,000 people for that. Um, you know, one or two people would be awesome to, to help out with that. Also, if it's just me, then, then I can do it. Um, and the then big when, thing is for, Oh, sorry. I was thinking, you know, he gets there at, at 1130. I mean, sorry, he gets this. Santa's supposed to arrive at 1230. So I think if we can have all the volunteers there um, by 1130, that'll give time to, for them to at least get them organized before a lot of people start showing up. But, you know, I need to, we need to have time to, to get them set running the stations and, and you know, get, get everything, get everything going. Um, but, but like I said, I, I think it'll be similar to last year, but with more, uh, more activities. 
you know, we do have the lunch and stuff, but I, I thought that was good having those activities set up for the kids. Um, I got some kind of nicer, you know, the, the Christmas stuff we have is pretty festive. So I got some stuff that's more, a little more calm and kind of, kind of, kind of the classy stuff like, like we did for the Halloween. So we can set that stuff up more for the, like the tables to eat on and then eat the stuff we had in stock. We can use those for the, the crafts and arts and things like that. So there's, there's going to be plenty for people to do. I think it's, it's going to be a good event. Um, they are starting to ride a little bit earlier. Um, they, they got the, the Parkers have the, have the costumes and everything. They're good to go. They're going to meet up at eight o'clock um, over at the fire station and, and get started. So they, they are starting to ride a little bit earlier than they have in the past, but um, everything should be online for them to, to still arrive around 1230 over at the, at the elementary school. Um, the, the, the needs we have right now, Barstow's, I've got, so, you know, a lot of like park and rec gear that, that we'll use for door prizes. I thought it was fun having those door prizes last year. I think people enjoyed it. It was something that they could do kind of like while they're eating, you know, and while people were doing stuff. So I've got a bunch of park and rec gear. And then also Barstow's donated a, a $30 gift card. Um, for us to use for the for the door prize so that's that's pretty cool of them um so we got that stuff set up is are, are y'all going to be available for that for that event on saturday i'm going to be there and christian and his girlfriend and hopefully some others and hopefully we can come tomorrow night too awesome um, okay the other thing i was going to bring about was um the music uh -huh. like i i think it's good to have the background like christmas music even just like the halloween with some you know, Monster Mash, like music playing. But uh -huh. in the past, what we've always done is we've taken our cell phone and put it by the microphone. But then I hate doing that because then I don't have my thing to take pictures and stuff. Do right. you, can you think of anything else? I mean, um, if I, I, I can use a laptop, that's my thought is I've, we've okay. got that big speaker now that that's is park and rec speaker. So we okay. can actually set that up and I'll, I can plug my, my laptop in and, you know, we can, get either like a pandora or a, yeah. a youtube christmas mix or something like that okay and do it that way but yeah that's that's one of those things i may need some it's just going to take time to to get that out of the shed and get that all set up and everything but that's a good idea because okay. do using our phone just isn't effective no <laughs> um, and that was challenging it uh for the halloween because of the yeah. access to wi-fi and all right. that stuff but, but I, I think we'll be able to here we can just hook up to their wi-fi and, and, and do it that way so that'll be better that'll be better cool uh, um steve are you guys going to be able to be out there on on saturday because really i need some a couple of things i need help with is um picking up the pizzas um picking up the gift card from barstow's and um also grabbing the chairs um susan uh, glikowski don't is letting us use we got those she has those big white chairs that are super comfortable <laughs> so we got those she lent those to us last year um so I just may need, because I've got my vehicle, can't, I've got <coughs> three huge bins and I've already got my two vehicle full of stuff. So um, just so I can be on site doing that stuff, if someone can go pick up some of those things for me, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Sully has CYO basketball that morning. Okay. So I don't know what time I'd be able to make it. And it's going to have to be kind of played by ear. So. Okay. Well, if I, you I can't can let maybe, you know until that morning. If you can maybe, Jim, even if it was tomorrow, um, run by Susan's and pick up those chairs for me, that would okay. be helpful. That way I can at least have those over there and not have to worry about figuring out a way to get those from, from her house to the to – the, Sue Gulotsky? Yeah. And she lives down on Middle, right? Yeah, she, yeah, she lives right down from Town Hall. If you can get me a number of a house. Okay. That would be fantastic. Awesome. Just yeah, text I'll do that. me tomorrow. Perfect. Perfect. That's super helpful. And I can go get the gift certificates from Barstow since I'm the closest to that area. Okay. And I'll try and, well, I'll just keep the uh, chairs in my garage until, because tomorrow's going to be horrible. It's going to be rainy and crappy out. So wow. um, I'll just keep the chairs in my garage until then. Okay. And we'll okay. run them up. Um, I don't know are, what time. Are you, are you going to be there um, Saturday, Steve? You're muted. You're muted, bud. 
There he is. Must have been my dog. Um, he's right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll be there at 1130 and then just let me know when you want, when it's scheduled to pick up the pizzas and Liam will go grab the pizzas with the other car and um, come bring them down. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Plus, you know, you're, you're super good at um, reading off those uh, door prize numbers. So <laughs> I'm a numbers guy, <laughs> not a, not a eloquent speaker. That's for sure. It was perfect. You're, you're the best. Yeah. Something. Awesome. <laughs> good. So I, I think we're good with that. Um, is there anything else for that event we need to discuss before we roll? Cool. Um, we got the Festival of Lights uh, contest. We're supposed to, you know, that's been promoted. We've got, I want to say 10 right now registered. I have to double check the job forms. Um, but I talked with, you know, last year was a little bit challenging. Um, I, ended, I, I drove around town for four hours trying to find everything and take pictures of stuff. And uh, point being this year, Alex with uh, Hadley Media, he was planning, we, we talked about it and He's going to drive around. I'm going to give him the route, and he's actually going to do video of all the houses. So that That's way we awesome. can share the video and, and and figure out the best way to do the judging. Um, I like social media, but also, you know, obviously not everyone has access to social media, but it does give us something that's there that, that people can offer their input on. Um, so the turnaround may not be super fast, but I think it'll be, it'll be good to have the, the video out and have him be able to put that stuff together for us. I've seen um, some other towns posting theirs, um, or maybe they're my friends in those towns sharing it. And that's what they appear to be doing is like people are either submitting pictures of their houses or I love the idea of the video. That's, that's kind of nice. And like, we'll get all the angles type thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think that's great. Cool. That guy is phenomenal. He is so yeah. good at his job. I love that Zaturka Park clip or TikTok or whatever it was. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. The reel or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's doing a good job, and he and I communicate pretty regularly. <laughs> yeah. yeah we're, we're, we're really working on promoting each other and helping each other out. But um, he did that video, that uh, that pickleball kind of teaser thing, and he's, he's got a, a longer one he's gonna, he, that he's working on that I think should be pretty good. Awesome. Um, oh, so we are working on I, I sent you guys some info on the UMass basketball events. Um, they want to help us out with some stuff. If you guys kind of look over that and just respond, even just respond an email, kind of your ideas on those things and any input on that. And that way, and I know, I know there's not much time and I honestly haven't had time to go over to a whole bunch because I just, I received it today and sent it right out um, to y'all. So just kind of look over that and then we'll, we'll discuss kind of what the best options are, but he really does want to work with us. He has a, a, a boy in the, in our pre-K group. So at so a that, high that, level, I mean, it all looks great. Right? Like, you yeah. know, getting, getting the teams to play there. I loved, you know, a night when Hadley can go. That's awesome. You know, I thought those yeah. were all great ideas. No, yeah. I think that's the thing. I don't think it's a pick and choose thing. I think all those things would be yeah. great. And I think yeah. all those things would get a significant amount of participation, you know? Um, so we are, we are going to do the, the three on three basketball tournament again. We're planning that for March. Um, I've talked with V1. They're going to sponsor that, that event again. So that more information will be coming out on that. You know, last year we ended up having uh, a handful of youth teams. I, I think now with our increased participation and I mean, there's a lot of new people in that, that men's basketball. It's, it's, I'm really pleased with the participation and, and the way that's going. So I would be surprised if there's not a, an adult division in that, that three on three tournament this year. Um, but either way, I, I think that was a good, good event. And we are planning that again for March. So I'm working on finishing up the flyers and all that stuff. And I'll wait till once we get through the holidays and get in the beginning of January and we'll start getting registrations and, and getting it all taken care of. So, so we are going to do that event. Um, nice. We are the, the, other really upcoming things right now is the uh, February camp, um, that February break program we did and the April break programs. Um, we haven't talked about it a whole bunch. I just wanted to see if that was something we, um, we want to continue to provide. You know better than us. Yeah. Um, it's tough. Because you were there for it. You know, and, and you know, 
I think there's value in doing it. We had probably 20 kids um, participate in, in, in them last year. Uh, they were four days last, both of them were just four days last year. And it, they are, the, the breaks are five days this year. Um, and it is a lot, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's nice that we can provide that service, but also um, our department staffing that and taking care of that from 8.30 to 5.30 for those, for five days and to find quality staff to do that is, is, this definitely be a challenge. I mean, it, it can be done, you know, but also that, that does create a, a significant workload and it, it is a challenge to, for us to provide that level of care, if that makes sense. Um, is it worth um, putting out like a poll, like something on Facebook where you could say, you know, would you be interested in this? Or even if you go back to the families from last year and ask, or well, I think you know, we'll certainly don't want you spinning you know wheels. I, mean? I think we'll get kids. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I would, we'll probably get 15 to, to 25 kids. You know, I think people will do it. It's just, is that, are we qualified to provide child care for eight hours a day for five days, two different times every year, you know? What about just doing half days? You know, we I'll do it into that. I, I don't know if we'd get the, I think the value that people get from that is they can treat it like the, you know, they can still go to work all day, you know, and treat it just like any other work week. So I think if we provide, if it was just half days, I don't know if that would really, um, if we'd get the level of participation that we would otherwise, and if that really, yeah. if there would be much value in providing that. Yeah. Um, and, and we don't have to make a decision right now. You know, we can, we can revisit again. Um, you know, if we meet a little earlier in January, we can revisit again before then, but before that next meeting, but that, that's something I think we need to, need to, need to think about a little bit. Well, I mean, I would trust your judgment on that. If, if you're the one that's going to be there all day and you're wondering if we could provide the level of care that we need to, that's all I need to know. Like, yeah, is there value to it? Yeah. But if we can't do it at the level that we think it should be done, then let's not do it. Because right. I don't want to put out a product just to put out a product, put out the best we can. But if we put out the best we can and it's really not up to par, then let's not do it. Right. Maybe, maybe like circling back to the kids staff that you have for the parents night out to see if they'd even be available, you know, to help out. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and maybe that's something we can do where instead of an all week event, maybe, maybe we can do a, you know, like a, a Thursday, Friday, you know what I mean? Maybe find, dates during those times that we can do it just like we did for the like the summer like in the summer you know instead of doing a full week of summer you know eight to five we did you know six part things during those days you know we i'll i'll i'll, I'll, I'll put together a couple different ideas and get something out to y'all um i i definitely think it's worth looking at looking at other options and than what we've done in the past though okay cool okay so that's the kind of where we are with the upcoming. Um, anything else to, to add or your questions or anything, guys? No. Okay. I don't know. All right, so Turka Park, um, the project has been interesting. It's, uh, we have a lot, all, everything's out there. Um, I talked with the, the, the company that we purchased the product from, subcontracts their installation teams. Um, so they had sent all the equipment out. Uh, I went out and inventoried everything and I asked if, you know, it's Massachusetts in December, is this something that we can do? And there's like, oh yeah, um, they do it all the time. So they sent a crew out and the crew started work last week and it rained and it snowed and they said, we can't do this because the water and now it's below freezing and the cement won't sit and they left the site. Um, so they're supposed to come back in the spring and complete the installation of the, of the play sets. Um, I'm working with Willie Goat to get dates and to get that figured out. That's not finalized yet. But that's that's kind of where that is um, with the play sets. They, 
uh, the part, the benches, the gazebo, and the, the picnic table, uh, those were all out there. Home Depot delivered all those products. Uh, right now, I've, I've I reached out to some construction companies, and no one will do that job. So, but if that was recommended, to start reaching out to handyman services. I've contacted a handful. I'm starting to get some response, and now I'm getting um, estimates from from the different places on what that's going to take to get those put together. But they need kind of the specs, all the equipment, and all those things to, to put those together. So. So that's all in process. Um, so I don't see the, those things getting done, obviously, before the new year, but, but those things are in process. So it'll get done. <laughs> We're moving forward on it. There's, it's, it's better than it was, but it's, it's not where, where I want it to be right now, but it's, it's never going to be ideal where I want it to be. But like I said, it is, it is in process, and, and I think people are still excited about it. Do uh, you guys have anything on, on Zaturka? Anything to add on it? I think it's fine if there's nothing till spring. I mean, I don't yeah. see a whole lot of, you know, kids needing to go play on it this time of year now that the snow right. is starting to stick, it seems. So, and especially if it's getting more. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's not ideal having that stuff out there, but it's, it's what yeah. we have. You know, it's, yeah. it's what we're working with. Um, right. Also, you know, something else to, to think about that, that I, mean, I want to like start planning for and thinking about how to do it is I'd like to get a, like a nicer, like a park sign out there. Um, so I know kind of what the, what the process is to, to work on to do that. Um, Y'all are obviously more familiar with the community and the history of the park and, and all, everything that's gone into that place to, to maybe have some ideas on, on how to make that happen. But I think, you know, as we approach a spring, once we get all those things up, I would like to have kind of a grand opening type event out there to, to really, you know, showcase, showcase everything that's happening. And I think if we, if we have a game plan for a sign, I think at least having a game plan to get a sign out there um, at that point would be good. So, so that's something I'd like us to, to start to think about and uh, about the best approach to get that done. You, you might want to approach Carol. Um, that's the town administrator's name, right? Caroline or Caroline. Caroline, yeah. Um, because even the mother's club, like just wanting like signs in the middle of town, like which were just banners, we had to go through David Nixon, who was her predecessor. Um, so I'm assuming she would be, or at least be the person to guide you in the right direction for town signs. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think if I know somebody that makes signs. Well, and there's, you know, I was approached and I have a card. There's a guy who actually came in the office last week. There was a local guy that, 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 that makes signs and we were talking about it. Um, but I, I was thinking more in terms of like funding, you know, because I, I mean, I'd like to have something nice out there. Um, so, you know, like I said, it, it's, it's something that, that I don't have any details on or really don't know the process on yet, but it's something I wanted to bring up to y'all that, you know, as we look at the future of that park and the beautification of it and getting it better and better, that's, I think that's something at some point I'd, I'd like to get up. But yeah, I can talk with Carolyn about the process and maybe she'll have some ideas on that. Um, I'm the, Steve, I, I don't know if, sorry, um, oh, yeah. Greg, there, we used to have a really crappy entrance <laughs> into Hadley when you would go over the bridge. It'd be kind of an eyesore type thing. And we got these very nice, as you see, welcome to Hadley signs. Right. Was that, do you remember if that was the Boy Scout, Matt Waskevich that did that? Or like, oh, really? I That's great news. You're muted. <laughs> A damn dog. Uh, the dog's bark. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll talk to Jerry. As a matter of fact, um, because he was on the, he was in the oh, picture when they, they dedicated that sign. You know. Okay. Um, and try to get some history out because I know there's a lot of specifications and there are um zone zoning stuff about about the signage and uh, just we'll be on we'll be on track with it. I know that. Um, 
But yeah. I think Carolyn, that's that's right up her alley. <laughs> the dog's foot's on my laptop. Hold on. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a nice and classy sign, you know, and yeah. if that's what you're talking about, Greg, you know, a nicer sign, that mm -hmm. that's a nice one. Do either of you know if the Friends of Zaturka Park ever raised any money? Because maybe they'd like to get, no? Nope. <laughs> okay. I'd like to change, oh, it's Ooh. nothing, it's being recorded. Yeah. What about, what, what about Friends of Park and Rec? That would be a great place to get rid of. Yeah, expending. Yeah. yeah. I, there were 88 members that signed the petition for Friends of Zaturka. And the last remaining Children. one, yeah, the last remaining one has uh, flown south to Florida. So okay. there, are no, there are no more members of that. Um, okay. They're all quite happy and content. Uh, they, they gave up their membership. <laughs> okay. They, uh, they had, you know, families signing it. Like, it was not... We were kind of like, well, we're talking about like helpers, not you know, yeah, pooper, pooper, scoopers. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that'll that'll definitely be a topic of discussion. Um, I asked Got Jim it. off the record. Uh, I was asking Jim, Greg, do you think that stuff is all um, safe up there, materials and stuff, or should we do some preventative um, a check on it, maybe on the weekend and and maybe tarp it and stuff, or maybe whatever we can move, consolidate it and prep for spring or you know because i don't know what's out there i just saw the the guy and his pile driver and and that getting set up yeah they they're supposed to clean it up and fill the holes and and put stuff around it and make it safe that's something we need to yeah. look into yeah we'll ultimately sure that's our everything we can before we get more snow on it especially that's our responsibility so that'll be on my agenda saturday morning earlier before the uh and, and we can chit chat before the uh santa event okay okay good deal okay um next item we have is a, the <laughs> softball field i really don't have any updates on it i just want to see if if jim if you had anything we could anything on the softball field any updates no not yet okay not yet okay. i will i have uh so the only thing I talked to a buddy of mine that owns a fencing company and he no longer does commercial stuff because he can't get, keep employees. Like literally nobody wants to do back, back breaking work anymore. Um, so he told me a company to call and I looked at what is at Hopkins and we don't need anything better than what's at Hopkins. I mean, that's pretty simple. There's literally, I think, six poles, and it's 20 feet tall, maybe. Mm -hmm. And that should be very simple. Um, so other than that, all we need to do is get the uh, the proposal and the design to Carolyn to get it out and bid. Um, so I will – I have some free time tomorrow, so I will finish that. Hopefully tomorrow. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, man. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Exciting. A lot going on. I know it's not all right in front of us right now. We have a lot going on, guys. Um, that's it. Uh, for other business, I actually had something that we had. I wanted to uh, touch base on the skating rink and kind of see where we were with the with the with the ice rink and what we should what we need to be doing. So I went in front of the select board to ask if we could move the dirt. And I think at this point, it's a little too late to do that. So I have to wait to see basically if we can get the, the things in at this point, because I waited too long and it's my fault. And we got to see if we can get the, the stakes in that are going to hold it. And then, fit, so Steve, I should have talked to you about this beforehand, but what do you think about just adding six or so inches of wood on top of what we have at the side that goes towards Bay Road instead of the side that's on Route 9 so we can raise the Bay Road up, the Bay Road side up a little bit, and then we can have more on the Route 9 side. So there'll be like 15 inches on the uh, Bay Road side, and that'll give us like eight inches on the Route right. 9 side. Yeah, adjust to the lay of the land. That's no biggie. 
I just don't know. Maybe would you reach out to Dougie when you get a chance and see if he thinks 15 inches of ice is too much? Because um, we're going to have to do it in two sections. We're yeah. going to have to do like six inches and then another six inches on top of that after it freezes. Yep. Yep. You can't just – I don't think you can just do the 15 all at once. The only – the only other option, tell me I'm not thinking this through, is that a, a big problem of it is the the sun, the ultimate sun there, right? You know, the sun yep. on it. Um, what if we use that area um, directly behind the parking lot, like at the Young Men's Club, where all those pine trees are? Way out, way out by the pavilion. And people could park there. And it's all flat, and you got a lot of shade. I mean, it is dead flat. I'm just wondering about that um, in the legalities, you know, um, of having it out there. I don't think, because I know I can talk to the board there about that, and that's that would be really not too bad. You could go in with uh, metal posts. You could pre-pound those posts in, like the size of a horseshoe thing, and then your wood will follow that. It won't be too too much out there. But I was talking a little to Dougie the last time I saw him about a month ago. And he goes, tell me that you're going to put it in some shade, guys. You know, <laughs> so, you know, and he goes, it was awesome. It's great. That's a great central spot. But it'll be a lot less maintenance and a lot less um, worry, you know, and, and about it being porous. And you don't have to battle that constant um, when it hits that that deep spot because the underneath it thaws, you know. So he just yeah. said, well, what about out back there? Because they've they've plowed it and they froze it a long time ago, just like they did a rink up by North Hadley Hall. But that was on a big angle. You know, that was just that was on top of the snow. Um, that was an old fashioned rink. Just yeah. just food for thought. But I'll definitely I'll bring it back both ways. And because it's a very fast um season for it, you know, as we know. What do we go? Well, I mean five, five weekends. Yeah, I mean that's that's the other problem. The winters are getting less and less every yeah. single time. Yep. I have no I'm not opposed to it at all. I, I I liked it because it was easy to work with that area down by the school. I have no problem with it. But in what is the what's the question? The longevity? I don't know. But I just thought it'd be easier to work with with a better flat surface, you know? Yeah. We'd only dump a couple of inches of water in there and the and the, the fire truck could get out there. Um I don't know. But I, I also, we, I also I, love the people coming in right there. They they really you know, like that location. I'm seeing I, it, yeah. I really like that too. I'm not really happy. about Well, it, it worked fine. It, yeah. I mean, we thawing wasn't a problem with the sun. The only no. problem with the sun was the leaves. When the leaf when the sun hit the leaves, it melted. Yeah. On top of where the leaves were. So all I got to yeah. do is make sure there's no leaves. I got you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Let's let's go with that, and I'll talk about the. Uh, bringing up that other side and that's all yeah well i mean if is it another two by six something like that yeah that's all i'm thinking yeah 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 i mean you see the one on uh, rocky hill that that one's pretty deep because of how steep it is in the yeah. front yard yeah yeah why don't we go that route yeah i'm for that so. i'm for that and we, we want, it's not going to affect anything to do with like the tarp you had, a, you had the tarp perfectly proportioned and stuff. We would oh, just, no, because we it, it'll still it. go up and over the edges. Yep. The only thing I'll do is cut off less lengthwise. Yes, okay. Or Perfect. cut off more lengthwise. You know, I, we don't cut it until I put it in there and staple it in anyways. Gotcha. Cool. We clipped it down last year. This time we'll staple it. Cool. Okay. All right. So. We'll hit that this weekend. I'll talk to Dougie. All right. I'll shoot him awesome. a sec. Awesome. And you know what? That's not a bad idea using like metal rods instead of two by fours. That'd be a whole yeah. heck of a lot easier to get in the ground. You know how they form up the concrete, right? The concrete. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And actually, why don't we get a hold of uh, the guy that said, I wish you guys knew we were doing this. <laughs> I'll talk to that guy. Okay. We, we both know that guy with the okay. uh, concrete stakes and stuff. Cool. Yeah. Cool, man. Perfect. You know, the, more, the more help, the better, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can get Angelo, and believe it or not, one of the guys at Open Gym two weeks ago after uh, basketball practice on Friday night came up. He's like, hey, are you guys going to do the rink? I said, yeah, we're we're getting there. We're not quite there, but we're getting there. And he's like, if you need help, just let me know. I mean, yeah. we, there's people that want it, so, you know, they're willing to volunteer. So if we put out a thing, 
on Facebook and said, hey, you know, next weekend at this time, we're going to put up the skating rink and any help would be great. Bring a hammer and bring, uh, you know, that's it. That, that that's, that's awesome because from our collective group, you know, we can't always have our eyes on it and stuff. And if you've got another, the more the better, you know. Yeah. I, mean, I think you did did a great job spearheading it and it went great. And we got a really good response from it. And now we're seasoned veterans, you know. <laughs> so, so it should be lickety split. So right. I'm mean, excited. If we could get like a 50 – two foot rebars you know what i mean yeah yeah and then some clamps that we yeah. could screw into the boards around the rebar around the rebar yeah those you know just some c-clamp type like things and yeah with flanges yeah yeah all right cool might have to have a meeting saturday afternoon talk about yeah. this okay cool i'll bring the cooler all right cold, colder weather all right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, that's what we're all kind of. Hey, buddy. What up? <laughs> that's hey, kind John. of where we're on the agenda. Um, the so for the next meeting date, the Thursdays that we got coming up in January. There's the twelfth and nineteenth and twenty sixth. You guys want to shoot for that weekend, uh, Thursday the nineteenth? Does that one work for y'all? Yeah. I do. I don't know anything. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm around. Yep. Okay. We'll put it in. I'll put it in for that. Um, between now and then, I'll get back. Uh, I'll, I'll get you all some stuff on maybe some different ideas for the for the February and April camp and um, or the, the week long programs and see if there's 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 some better options. All right. Um, someone want to call to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn at 651. Seconded.